selection tools allow you to select all or part of an image for functions such as cut, copy, and paste, as well as image editing. When you click on an object in the Layers panel or use the Pointer tool in the Tools panel, you're selecting an entire object. However, when you use the selection tools located in the bitmap area of the Tools panel, you can select a certain area of an image, then edit only that area without making changes to the entire image. In this lesson, we'll learn how to use the bitmap selection tools options, use the magic wand tool, use the lasso and polygon lasso tools, use the marquee tools, and convert a bitmap selection into a vector path. Before we cover the bitmap selection tools, let's take time to discuss some of the common options associated with these tools. This knowledge will help you be more successful when we start to learn how to use them. One option that you'll have with most tools is to set the edge that you want. You'll be able to choose from hard, anti-alias, or feather. A hard edge results in a jagged or pixelated selection. Anti-alias will blend the selection with the areas that are not selected. Feather gives a less accurate selection, but it's softer and better blended. You can also set a pixel value for a feathered edge. You also have the following options when using the elliptical or rectangular marquee. Fixed size means the height and width is set to a defined dimension in pixels. Normal means the height and width are independent of the other. And fixed ratio means the height and width are constrained to defined ratios. In addition, the live marquee feature is available for all the bitmap selection tools. This lets you have immediate control over the edge of your selection once you draw it. By default, it's automatically turned on in the Properties panel. All the changes that you make with the bitmap selection tools are permanent. It's a good idea to save a copy of the original image before beginning. The Magic Wand tool allows you to select pixels in a bitmap image that are based on color. For example, if you want to select the white sign in our image, you can use the Magic Wand tool to do this quickly. To use it, first select it from the Tools panel. Now move your cursor over the area of the image that you want to select, then click your mouse button. As you can see, it selected most of the sign, but not all of it. To fix this, we're going to go to the Properties panel. Make sure Live Marquee is checked, and then increase the tolerance. We adjusted it to 100, and now all of the sign is selected. Lower the tolerance if you need to until the selection is as you need it. Now let's apply a live filter to the selected area. We're going to adjust the color. To do this, go to Filters, Adjust Color, Levels. Use the sliders below the histogram to adjust the levels as you learned to do in the last lesson. You can now see that we've adjusted the color of the sign and it's now solid white. Take the time to experiment with the different filters in the Filters menu. Learn how they affect the look of the selected area of your image. When using the Magic Wand tool, Option or Alt-click decreases the size of the selection and Shift-click increases the size of the selection. The Lasso tool lets you draw a selection on your bitmap image by using your mouse. The Polygon Lasso tool lets you click plot points around the area that you want selected, then closing the shape by clicking on your first plot point or double-clicking your mouse. Let's use the Lasso tool to select a part of a tree in our image. Click on the Lasso tool in the bitmap area of the Tools panel. Draw around the area that you want to select by dragging your mouse. The Polygon Lasso tool is grouped with the Lasso tool. Click on it and hold the mouse button until you see the Polygon Lasso tool. Click to place points around the area of the image that you want to select. The Marquee and Oval Selection tools are grouped together under the Marquee tool in the Tools panel. Use these tools when you want to select a rectangular or marquee area or an oval area in your bitmap image.
You can easily convert bitmap selections into vector paths and fireworks. This is helpful to do when you're working with selections if you tend to accidentally delete selections, as it is easy to do. In addition, by converting a selection to a path, you can then scale the path. You cannot scale a selection. In our image, we've used the magic wand tool to select the sign. To convert it to a path, go to Select Convert Marquee to Path. Click on the pointer tool in the Tools panel. Now we can change the fill and stroke color of our new vector object in the Colors area of the Tools panel. There's a lot more you can do with the selection now that you've converted it into a vector object.